Hey preppers, Homestead Prepper here. Uh, it was so hot today I decided to, I wanted to do a, a clean and check on my air conditioner and talk a little bit about my background and history of air conditioning. Um, when I was a kid, we all grew up with, uh, we, we never had any air conditioning whatsoever. Only uh, the well-to-do people had it or if you went up to the mall you might you might get some air conditioning. Um, my uh, my I remember one time telling my dad, me and my sister told my dad, I said, Dad, we're hot. And he said, you know, I didn't even have a fan when I was a kid. And he didn't. And uh, that that's just the way it was back then. <sighs> so they did eventually get a, um, a window unit, but they only used that on special occasions or if it was like really, really hot. And it was rare because, you know, the electricity costed so much money. Um, now how I got into air conditioning is I was doing a job for somebody back in 95 and what I was doing is they asked me to run to move this box right here to the other side of the house and they wanted to move the condenser to the other side of the house. So I gave them a price of uh, it was $150 to relocate this 240 volt circuit here and also they wanted some other stuff done in the house, lighting and whatnot. And uh, I was there all day and uh, two guys show up in a pickup truck and they give the homeowner a price of $450 to move this. And they were only there like two or three hours. I said, man, you, that's what you need to get into. That, that's something people will pay for. And um, I went to um, a Votech school at night. Now, I didn't go to one of those schools that charge five or $10,000 to learn all the ins and outs of air conditioning, okay? What I did was a local school, they give a class uh, two nights a week it's usually 6 to 10 or 6 to 9 45 and my instructor was superb the guy was a contractor he did uh, AC work during the day and then he taught at night the guy was fabulous and what he did is he got the uh, you've seen the air conditioners inside motels they're right underneath the window and you have the little push buttons on them well he would pull those out and bring those into class and let us work on them show us how to change the compressor, the fan motor, you know, how to check the capacitor and all that stuff. And then we would fix them and then whenever the motel called that one was broke, he'd just go swap in one of those. Um, you know, <laughs> the guy was pretty smart and uh, of course it was a good deal for us too. Hands-on, you can't beat hands-on experience. Um, so anyway, I, I got my um, my class and he also gave the refrigeration license exam which cost another $100 well worth it and uh, with that I took that up to a local company and they hired me on the spot and this was in January of 96 and uh, they put me with their top technician and I said alright man I yeah you know, I wanted to learn everything I could about this now air conditioners are 90 percent electrical and that gave me a big help in learning how to fix these things and what they were about but uh, this guy, we drove, we got in his truck and we drove over to Largo to a senior mobile home park, 55 and over. And we walk in the door and uh, he goes, uh, how you doing? I think, the, I don't remember what the lady's name, we'll just call her Mrs. Johnson. And uh, she, uh, we, we, we sit there and he goes, hey, Mrs. Johnson, get me a cup of coffee. And I'm, I'm looking at him and uh, he goes, do you want one too? And I said, no. And uh, so he sits there and he says, oh, get me, a, get me a pen and get me a piece of paper. And I'm thinking, what the heck is this guy doing? So he gets on the phone with the manager and they, they uh, talk and they say, oh, Mrs. Johnson needs a, a new air conditioner. And she really needs that carrier ZP. It was the top of the line back then for uh, a package unit. And uh, yeah, we can give her a special price of forty-four hundred dollars. Yeah, okay, okay, great. So he uh, he looks at her and he says, "Mrs. Johnson, uh, we got the service manager on the phone here, and he take what, what the guy did is he took the pen and he put it in her hand, and took her hand and told her he goes, just go ahead and sign right there. So he handed it to her and then she signed right there and uh, he said, okay. He told the manager, he goes, yep, yep, okay, she wants it done, and he told her we'd uh, we'd be out there later that day and install it. Well, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I don't know what the heck is going on here. So we get in the truck, and I said, I said, my gosh, what were you doing in there? And he goes, oh, oh, that's a, that's a salesman tactic. He goes, what you do is you start ordering around, and you take charge, and then you tell them what to do, and they do it. Well, that was, <laughs> that was a big eye-opener for me on how, because I thought everybody was honest, all right? And uh, 
that they're not in the air conditioning. But now some are. If you've got a good technician that they're like gold, that's great. But um, the story was worth telling. All right, well, I'm going to show you a little bit about doing a cleaning check on your air conditioner right here. Oh, they're running a special right now around town. $29.95. They'll come out and do a cleaning check on your air conditioner. Give you three pounds of Freon. Check everything out. Clean this. Clean the uh, air handler. Uh, which, uh, now, I'm here to tell you all that they can't come out and do that unless they're going to try and sell you something. There's no way they can even send the truck out here for that. So, buyer beware. Well, anyway, let me show you how you do it. Now, this is my your disconnect. You all should have these. Uh, sometimes I have seen them where they're not. You pull this out, and then that disconnects power to the uh, condenser. And uh, what I always do, now I don't recommend you all do this unless you all are a professional, okay? Or you're under the supervision of a professional, because this is live right here. These two screws are live, even though I have the power pulled out. And what you do is you take your, I would throw the breaker inside, tighten these things up, because I have seen air conditioners fail because the uh, little box right here went bad. This little 8 or $10 box goes bad and they charge hundreds of dollars. And in some cases I've seen new air conditioners come out of that thing being busted. And uh, over here you have your other electrical connections. This is the contactor. You take this, you tighten that up if it needs it. Don't overdo it, don't break it off. And uh, these are what I call the points. You can't see it because the thing's engaged and they're a little burned. I probably need to go ahead and replace this. You know. Now if your technician shows you that they're burned and you need to replace it, then uh, you know that's up to you. Uh, what he's trying to do is save you, you know, some time on a holiday or weekend that it, you know, it's that's what's, when it's going to fail. So you tighten that up, and uh, another thing we do is we put these gauges on here. And uh, the left is the low side, this is the high side. And right here you have two pipes. You have the small pipe, and you have the fat pipe. This is the suction side, this is the liquid side, or the high side. And if you notice, I've got the blue one going up here. And it goes to the low and on the red side on the high side I've got the red one that goes to the high side and I'm not going to turn this on right now but um, what will happen is when this thing is off these pressures will equalize like this will be like a hundred and well, this says it's 130 here and this is 150 on this side well that's because I just shut it off eventually they'll they'll be the same but when this turns on now this is uh, R22 system not R410A, your pressure readings will be different. Uh, when you turn this thing on, this thing will go right over here around 75 on the low side, and it'll go anywhere from 175 up to 350 on the high side. The higher the, uh, what we call the head pressure, usually the dirtier this is. And uh, this right here needs to be cleaned, and uh, I want to show you how to clean it. Now, I'm going to say it twice. Do not use a pressure washer, okay? Do not use a pressure washer. Because I had a friend, I told him, clean this is something you can do and it'll lower your electric bill, make your air conditioner last longer. Do not use a pressure washer. And he used one and he bent all these fins over on the thing, screwed it up. Um, it could have been very expensive to fix. But what I recommend is just use a water hose. Like I said, make sure the, uh, the power is off. And you just take the water hose and just start at the top. And what it does, it'll clean all that stuff out of there. And like I said, it's been so dry and dusty around here. You could you could do this you could do this once a week around here. And the cleaner you keep this, the cooler it makes the house, and the less electricity you use. So it's pretty simple. And uh, if you rub your fingers in there, you're gonna bend those things over. If you run a shop back in there, you'll bend those coils over, and you're defeating the purpose. Now over here, you've got this guard on the side. You can you can run it up in there like that from the top down, or you can take this thing off and clean it that way. Whatever you want to do. I um, also want to show you all how to clean a drain. Now, I used to work at a company, and on the weekends they charged $86 for the trip charge and $86 for one hour to come out here and do this. See how I'm holding that? Let that out. See that nasty water that comes out of there? Now you don't want to do this for more than like three seconds because what will happen is it will overflow inside your house. Now you can also use a shop vac. I kind of like the shop vac method. But this is a whole lot more quieter for video purposes. Anyway, you just do that a couple times and when it runs clear, 
you're good to go and I don't know if y'all have ever had a stopped up drain or not but it shuts down the air conditioner or it'll flood your house out so anyway it's pretty simple uh, to do to clean and check your own air conditioner like I said I'll do another video on how to clean the uh, the evaporator coil and check out the air handler and uh, I hope this helped and this is the homestead prepper signing out